in a world filled with constant noise and relentless chaos, one soul chose to vanish. They were gone without a trace. Their viewers, their singular subscriber, all left in the dark. Questions arose, whispers spread, and the mystery deepened. But now, the silence is broken. After 279 days of uncertainty, they have returned. But where did they go? What did they see? And why? Did they disappear? This is it. Prepare yourself for the truth. It's time to welcome him back. I'm aware it's been a while. I apologise for that. Life has sort of gotten in the way. I've moved. I'm a certified homeowner. Isn't that splendid? Uh, yeah, I've been busy. Uh, but I've had some free time recently, so I'm back and hopefully uh, on a more semi-regular basis. Because I did find myself missing it somewhat. It's a, a passion project for me, I suppose. I enjoy Minecraft and uh, editing. Put the two together and if people watch and enjoy, hey, that just sweetens the deal. So, uh, let's get into it then, I suppose. So, I'm doing some of hardcore Minecraft this time. I remember I left off, uh, my survival world, I beat the dragon, and uh, some something else. Anyway, yes, I felt I'd gone as far as that as I could, especially seeing as I uh, like to take uh, wild breaks in the middle, where I build a bunch of stuff, forget to record any of it, and do some Minecraft YouTuber certified off-stream mining. Off-stream? Uh, off camera mining, there we go. But yes. I think all this is a nice way to ease myself back into it. It's been a while since I've done Minecraft. And with any luck, I'll make it through some hardcore. Let's see if I can avoid the fire over there. I'm not the biggest fan of jungles or bamboo forests, but uh try our best to uh, stop a forest fire. I think this tree might be a little bit beyond me. Ah, oh, no! Well, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I put a crafting table down and fell into a pool of lava while trying to stop the forest fire. Ah, oh, dearie me. I'm back. There seems to be... I didn't know gravel could support bamboo. Well, there you are. I'll pull a timer up and see how long that's taken me to die, but uh, I think I've made it under a minute. 
Definitely under two, one at most. <sighs> right, let's try that again. And we're trying again. <laughs> this time for sure. Come on. I believe in us. Also, I've mucked about with OBS, so hopefully we're not having potato quality. Oh, alright. Uh, yeah. I can work with this. Pigs, good. Hello, Paul. Uh, mangrove. With a beehive. And jungle again, okay. It'll do. Yeah, anyway. Where was I? Uh, yes, some hardcore Minecraft to ease myself back in. It's been a while and I've missed it, and hopefully there's no lava pools for me to jump into this time. Dry hands, what a tune. It's been too long. Right, it started just, uh, gathering things I wanted to build with, and then realised I should probably make some tools, so, uh... Also, any shelter is good for hardcore, you don't need a beautiful base for night one, which I definitely won't have. But, um... I don't remember the last time I did hardcore, aside from five minutes ago. Um, I didn't frequent that often, but I had mild success. Not as bad as uh, my previous attempt at this episode, but uh, <clears throat> um, nothing noteworthy either. That's the thing, it's very easy to do well in Hardcore by not taking any risks, but then that takes the fun out of the game. So you're trying to find which side of the line you want to walk on. And I guess I'll find out which side I'm walking this time. More of that later. Uh, we got enough stone to see me well off. Find some coal if I'm lucky. And then uh, set up camp for the night. Hunt for food is going well. I've found sheep, chickens, melons. You see pumpkins over there, and uh, a big mangrove. Uh, what is it? A mangrove forest? A mangrove swamp? Mangrove biome in front of me. Um, I should be careful. It's hardcore. I know it's hardcore. And yet it does not stop me. And the smallest savannah I've ever seen. Right. I know it's a bad idea, but I'm going to head towards that other mangrove 
place. And, uh... Find some place to settle down for the evening. Uh, I'm unskillot. I could really do with, um... Some iron. Or a shield, or armor, or anything, really. That requires caving. Which I am too chicken to do at the moment. At least until I get a home base set up. This means I'm hoping to stumble along coal just exposed. That's another sheep. Pig. And... That's coal. He's asking you shall receive. Unless it's too much of an ask. Oh, hello. Mmm, doggy. Oh, bless. Oh, sun's going down. No, I'm thinking a mountain top home for no particular reason. This, for some, yeah, I just think it would be really great right now. Bada bing. Bada boom. Bada bunk. Bedtime. It's as easy as that, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about monsters. Just coolly and calmly take a bed and sleep in it. Uh, I could do with a shovel, actually. Just to get my mod up. Right. And easy does it now. Ouch. Alright, now, until I cook some of the food, I'm going to have to try and be quite careful. But, the sun is shining. There are no... Uh, there's some monsters to speak of. Don't run out of run. If I stop sprinting, I am in grave danger. to stop running. <laughs> it's easy to say it, but for it actually to take into account, slightly more difficult. Pigs, pigs everywhere. And nothing else to eat. And I won't eat them. It's my solemn oath. And I can't eat copper. I could certainly try, but it would do me no good. Please. <laughs> I'm getting frustrated watching myself do this. One thing to be bad at hardcore, it's another thing to be bad at just mining. Now, living on a hill is dangerous. Now, living everywhere hardcore is dangerous. Let's see what we're working with. You know what? I don't hate it. Purely for aesthetics, I'm going to flatten this bit here. And then I'm going to live in that little plateau down there. So I'll uh, catch up with you in a minute. Okay, so I was clearing out the area here, make it all flat from my home, uh, and then I've uncovered an entrance to a cave, and then a skeleton's come up behind me, and I'm nearly dead, so I'm going to edge my way over to my furnace, and uh, when I'm feeling like it, I'll uh, go around and uh, see what I can do. Here goes now. Hello? <laughs> oh, he's died. Oh, that's a relief. I hope it's worth. I'll light up that and that and then uh, some preventative measures. Uh, I don't want to waste any more torches down here. 
Not for the moment, at least. Right, um, back to it. I'll catch you in a bit. And kind of, it's got a roof on now. I did have to go and find a lot of copper, so there's um, 
We've not seen the entire creation of us, but anyways. I think it's looking alright. Certainly not my best work, but also not my worst. It's growing on me. Um, to anyone who actually builds in Minecraft, I'm sorry. Thank you, God. I know. Well. Anyways, um, I'm going to move my things inside. And then uh, a bit of decoration out here. I went and got some moss carpet from the mangrove swamp down there. And I'm going to hide to my torches. And then farm. So, uh, yeah. Catch in a bit. And here we are. Nothing fancy at the moment. Bed, storage, crafting tables, furnace, and stone cutter. Um, I don't really know what this is. I'm thinking maybe some leaves, flower pot up there, something like that. Just a wee bit of decoration. What time is it? Day on the sun. Well, onto the farm, I guess. See you in a minute. Well, it's not much and it's not pretty, but it's mine. And, uh, I've not died this time round, so let's see if we can come back to this. 
Maybe be a bit more daring when we do. All in all, I think it's been a semi-successful return. Yeah, semi-successful. <laughs> but, uh... Yes, I'm glad to be back. So... This has been Rook. I hope you've enjoyed. And... I'll see you next time. Do I have a outro? I don't think I do. I think I just say goodbye. Yeah, f off. <laughs>